Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this fine, absolutely beautiful December 2022 day we're about to shut down for Christmas um, but we've had this early Christmas present in the form of our long-awaited 2023 Compass Avant-Garde CV40 uh, display model. So Compass, they are part of Eldis as the Explorer Group who are part of Heimer, the German multinational conglomerate who are now owned by Thor motor coach of the USA believe it or not but this Heimer Group company Britain's second biggest motorhome and van converter and caravan manufacturer based out of Consett in the northeast of England so the CV range came out for 2019 and it was an absolute game changer I remember our compass rep Karen bringing down one of their first CV prototypes and I wanted a hugger so what they've done with the CV 40s is they've kept everything simple so these are now Britain's probably Britain's best-selling van conversion range or well, it certainly would be in normal chassis supply days they've kept the price down yes the price has gone up like everything else but they are still very competitively priced in today's marketplace um, and use tried and tested stuff well designed actually very well built as well and they just do everything correctly without having any unnecessary stuff so this is our display model so this one will be here at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon for you to come and have a look at we've got backup chassis backup stock on order you can put your name down on one into next year um, so the CV40 is a th two stroke three berth four seat belt fully facilitated van conversion it's six meters long based on the new Fitch Cato X8 cab with all of its new for 2021 2022 improvements and uh, yeah it's an absolute belter so 5.99 meters long uh, 2.05 body width not include the mirrors 2.2 with the mirrors folded about 2.7 tall so a normal van conversion uh, length and it features an end lounge which makes a double bed and a front double seat belt of dinette that makes a small single bed for a kid now for those who need four genuine berths so they do the cv80 which is a cv40 but with a full size pop top courtesy of heimer on the roof and that gives you four seat belts and four full berths we have some of those on order as well but the cv40 i've um, rarely sold a van that sells as well as these this one's in white now we are backup stock this is a white manual one our backup stock we've got uh, iron gray metallic ones which is the same color as that cv60 up there uh, so you've got on this one this one's not got a lot of factory options on it now our backup ones we go for the factory awning nav reversing camera some extra stuff on top of what this one has but this is a this is a sort of fairly spartanly plainly specced white manual but it's got optional alloy wheels from fiat the 16 inch wheels are standard we've ordered all the bars with the optional alloy wheels you've got a silver style pack at the front full color coding minimal blue graphics we've got tinted double glazed windows nice led awning lights so all the backup ones we've got on order we've ordered with the uh, factory option 3.7 meter and um, wind out fiamma awning but you don't have to have that if you don't want it so sliding door with a fly screen that's the lounge window coming around to the back so the backup stock we've got on order has got a reversing camera this particular one doesn't but we could fit one to anybody who ends up buying this one but for the moment this one isn't for sale for the uh, for the time being price point starting price uh, currently as of December 22 these are around about the 57 58 mark starting price um, but uh, that is likely to go up by a percentage come April sort of time unfortunately as is everything because of Stellantis you build the chassis are putting the prices up so we've got double rear opening double glazed windows which I've not unlocked the back doors let me just unlock the back doors so you can unlock the front doors and the back doors independently of the central locking and you open up to into a very very nice comfortable end lounge now on a nice day you can open up your end lounge with your back doors and uh, let the outside in which is lovely if you back up to a nice view overlooking a lake or a beach somewhere now I like about these proper motorhome windows you've got the more expensive concertina style blinds followed by fly screens on them push that back up again and they all open unlike the auto sleeper windows which don't so you've got opening windows in both rear doors and opening side windows as well underneath the rear sofas you've got bits of storage um, the heating system on this is the 
Northern Irish system from Whale, which has the advantage of being able to mount it underneath the floor. So that means you've saved some of your space underneath these sofas for storage. This one you've got a little access from there. As you can see down inside of it, that's all empty for storage. But you can also lift these up they're gas ram assisted or you can hit the two buttons and drop the drawer fronts down so they're very accessible same on the other side as well i think that side's got a leisure battery and charger underneath of it but you've got decent storage full tailored carpets all the way around but we'll have a look a little bit more at the inside on the inside coming around the driver's side so we've got a Toleco digital compatible tv aerial on the roof We've got mains hook up here underneath this nice and easy slide up flap, which is a, a neat way of doing it. Thick, thick cassette toilet locker dump point. Your fresh water fill up point there is behind the, uh, the locking flap. And then these have got, instead of a gas locker, you've got a standard and underslung gas tank, which is either 20 or 25 kilos, I can't remember which. Um, plus size of this, takes up zero internal space unlike a gas locker doesn't increase the height of your seat in unlike a gas locker where they have to put them on top uh, the seats on top um, and also it's much much cheaper to refill so six kilos of color gas will cost you about 25 pound when you can find someone that's got a bottle in stock um, 25 liters of lpg will cost you about 24 quid so you're getting four times the amount for the same price and you can also fill this up obviously it gets filled up the lpg pump at petrol stations there's 500 places in the uk and with an adapter for there you can fill this up all the way across europe which of course you can't with calagas who are a british company water tanks are slung underneath fresh water drain there wastewater tank drain there there is an optional winter pack for those who are going to do prolonged sub-zero camping which are tank heaters but it's not really necessary for most people now looking at the cab spec this is on the latest x8 ducato um Fiat Citroen, Peugeot, normally the same vans, but Fiat have given themselves an update for this year. You can see you've got your semi-digital dash, which is very, very smart. You've got 140 brake engine as standard instead of the base model 120. You've got new air vents, new switch gear, new steering wheel. It's got electronic power steering instead of hydraulic power steering, which means it's so smooth and very, very light, which is lovely. Uh, you've got new door cards with um, bottle holders and things like that in them now this one being a being a say a fairly plain spec one doesn't have the cab blinds but you can spec them up from the factory with cab blinds they come with silver screens insulating screens which you'll be putting around the front anyway to stop the condensation um, so you don't actually need cab blinds but if you want them they are a relatively inexpensive uh, factory option or you can retrofit them as well so the all-new steering wheel for for the x8 Ducato with the uh, controls for your um, stereo and your cruise control on there we've got auto headlights as standard air conditioning cruise control cruise con uh, air conditioning is manual aircon you've got this new stereo system that's bluetooth dab digital stereo system we are ordering ours with the bigger screens one with the reversing camera in but this one's got the um, got the standard one which is absolutely fine still as well New cup holders, new switch gear, new everything really. It's all a very, very nice place to sit. Twin airbags, lecky windows, lecky heated mirrors. So yeah, everything you'd want on the cab side of things. So that's her from the outside. Coming into the inside through your big front slide indoors. Of course you get your rear doors open and your side door open on a nice day. You've got a lot of airflow through and you've got two different seating areas with this fan so it gives you a lot of flexibility. So you've got a fly screen door as standard which is lovely. You've got this nice neutral upholstery, neutral coloured carpets, two tone sort of mid brown wood with uh, this sort of off cream coloured cabinet work to break it up which works really well. Two forward facing seats so if you're one of the people who are going to maybe downsize from a coach built get rid of a car and use this as your big car as your second vehicle you've got four seat belts as total now this front dinette area your table's got a leaf that will come out and stop there or there so you can use it as extra workspace uh, for your kitchen or have four people sat around for dining I have two high level cupboards with two spotlights up there and then over the cab there's quite a deep storage locker now that infill cushion there um, that when you make this into a bed, it's not the best bed to be honest with you, uh, but it's better than not having a bed. So you unclip your table from the top rail, clip it onto the bottom rail, that kneels over, then you put that infill cushion on. Move these cushions around and it even comes with a mattress topper. It's a kid's size bed or if you know any jockeys, something like that, it would be fine for them. 
Also in the cab, forgot to say, you've got a new six-speed manual gearbox for this year as well, which is lovely, very, very light, even lighter than last year's to use. Double um, swivel seats with double armrests on each. As you come in the door, you've got a lovely simple control panel. Now, if you've watched some of my videos, you'll know that I hate complicated touchscreen control panels. The German brands don't use them, so why do the British think that people want a Chinese touchscreen tablet that does all of your stuff or needing to sign up to apps you don't need this you've got an on off button dead easy internal lights external light and gauges for your fresh and wastewater tank how easy is that there's a gauge here which tells you how much lpg you've got in your gas tank um, if you made your main took up you could get years between filling your gas tank uh, it is a very big capacity this is the um, heating and your hot water controls. Again, simple one button to tell it to run off gas or electric, and then you tell it how hot you want it to be. Very straightforward as well, nice and simple, which is what we want. We're on holiday, we don't want confusing things. Storage underneath are here, because they've moved the boiler underneath the van. You've got a main socket there as a bonus. I like this as well. You've got this little flip up worktop here. And you've also got a main socket there for your kettle, and then you've got Drawers. I'm a big fan of drawers, and you don't see them on enough vans. Loads of kitchen storage drawers. Over here, you can also access what would have been the side of the drawers as well, which is good. Really nice sink with a cover. And then you've got an oven in a van conversion. So this van's main competitor in the UK market would be the Swift Select 144. It's quite a bit more expensive as a Select 144, and I prefer this. I do, in fairness, so I think it's a little bit better. Yeah, the Selector's got a panoramic roof light, and it's maybe bits of it look a bit stylistically a bit sort of slicker. However, this is better, I think. Anyway, you've got a better kitchen. You've got a full oven with a combi oven and grill compared to the single grill on the Select. You can have, if you want it, a factory microwave, but then you lose these cupboards. It's up to you. We order our backup stock with it because people like them, but you've got useful food storage up there. So up to you, though. Factory microwave is available if you wish. And then three gas burners on top. When you've got an underslung gas tank, there's no point in having a mains electric one, which will only work when you're hooked up to the mains because your gas is plentiful and it costs buttons to run. In the front area, we've got an opening skylight, opening side window and a big opening door window in the door. There's two storage drawers underneath the oven to complete an excellent kitchen, along with a good size 12 volt fridge freezer. So up here, these are 12 volt compressor fridge freezers, almost all vans are, are now. You've got a really good size freezer and then a good size fridge as well. These are great. They're very rarely go wrong. Uh, they'll work at any angle. And um, yeah, just like a domestic fridge really, so I think they're better. Boats use them, trucks use them, most van conversions use them, and coach builds are moving over to these as well now. Underneath of that is your wardrobe. Uh, I've currently stuffed that full of the mattress topper for the front bed, but you would leave that and the front bed infill cushion at home when you're not using it. So the rear lounge we saw from the outside, and obviously these, it's a six metre van, so these aren't six foot sofas, you can't do that with a front dinette as well. But they are four foot six, four foot four, something like that. It takes seconds to make this into a double bed. They simply slide together to meet each other. Now, if you're doing a long trip and you're driving all day, leave it made up as a bed. If you want a fixed bed, leave it made up as a bed. But when you don't, you've got a real sociable lounging space, floor space for your dog. So it's a bit more adaptable than the European idea of a fixed bed. So in the back, say you've got four big opening windows and an opening skylight. You've got a freestanding table as well. So you've got your front table for dining in the van and then you've got a freestanding good size table in there which will go here or you can put it outside which is really really nice battery's not connected on this one because it's literally just come in today but you've got up lighters across there you've got all these led spots as well you've even got a tv bracket and a very nice one as, as standard that fits there and then behind that you've got a whole bank of power sockets so you've got 12 volt TV point and two main sockets back there, which is really, really good. So say, everything about these, they do well. The seats are comfy. Oh, it's got plastic on, I'm gonna put my feet up. We've got plastic on, why not? Four high level storage cupboards. And look at that, on a nice day like today, even though it's cold, I've opened up the back doors. This is a nice place to sit. So uh, yeah, you can see why these are so popular. I think, We've got half a dozen of these left to come for next year at some point. So, uh, oh, we haven't done the, haven't done the bathroom, have we? It's very comfy out there. 
bathroom is a typical van conversion bathroom. It's practical, usable. You've got this fashionable freestanding um, basin there. Thick set toilet, toilet roll holder. They come with a shower curtain for going around. Then you've got a decent bit of storage shelves and a storage cupboard. A towel hanging up there. Oh. And uh, it's heated in there as well, so you can use it for drying things. For using your shower, this is rather neat, isn't it? This just pulls out and clips up to there. Most people probably don't shower in the van conversion very often, but if you do, it's big enough. I'm six foot fifteen stone, I could shower in there. So yeah, this is our um, 2023 Compass CV40. Really can see popular, so we've got half a dozen or so of these left um, for the 23 model year. Um, availability, I don't know. You'll have to speak to us, we'll have to look it up. There's still, in this time of 2023, major issues with um, Fiat and indeed all manufacturer chassis supplies um, but speak to us we'll give you the latest update but quickie get your deposit down if you want on the quickie pick one up so price wise these are about 57 starting with alloys and a manual gearbox add on three for an auto and uh, metallic paint and some nice awnings and stuff like that and you'll take her up to the low 60s it's a lot of money however the main competitors from Swift are mid to late 60s I think these are better. We sell the Swift as well, though, if you want a Swift, speak to us. Um, not a lot to split them in furnace to it, but um, I prefer the fact that this floor's flat back here, whereas the Swift Select has got a raised up rear floor, so you hit your head on the high level cupboard, but you do gain underfloor storage. Um, and so the Wild Axe Aurora Leisure today, which is similar to this, admittedly slightly sort of nicer van, but it's still 73, so this is 15 grand cheaper, so they still stack up. So this is us, we're Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch, the compasses are dealt with out of the Devon Branch. So you can check us on the highbridgecaravans.co.uk website, give us a call on the landline 01626 832 792. If we're busy videoing out here, give us a call direct on the mobile 07432 662 558 and we'll get back to you. Or come and see us there at Highbridge Caravan Centre, Highbrox Plantation, Teen Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon. That's just off the A38 South Devon Expressway which is that very busy road over there that's the road that goes from Exeter to Plymouth just after the M5 ends not deep as dark as Devon and it's right next to our forecourt you come off straight into us it's dead easy and ask us about our compass avant-garde CV40 2023 thank you very much goodbye